guys, this is Mariana for Spatajo Madrid and today I am in San Fernando de Nares to show you this beautiful house which is located in Avenida de Valencia. So let's have a look around. I'm starting from basically what is the main entrance of the house. So you see the first view would be the, the living room which has a lot of space and over there there is a door to the kitchen and then the stairs will take us on the second floor where we have the rooms and here soon as you get into the house you also have a little um, bathroom which I will show you in a minute okay so let's have a bit of a detailed look at the living room as I was saying to you, it's really spacious. You have there some furniture with a TV. You have a double sit couch. This is the window views. So it's really important to say that this is a really um, quite a nice area. It's um, residential, so you know you you have nature around, and it's not very busy okay so this is the living room you have a table here for having your meals and then um, this window of the living room actually shows you a small hole sorry through the um, to downstairs where there is a room okay and that would be a door of the kitchen but we'll get straight from here so as I was saying this test will take us on the second floor where we have the rooms and this is the kitchen okay so as you can see the kitchen as well is quite spacious you have here a small table you have the electric stove you have the oven there is the washing machine and here the machine as well for your plates you have the gas unit and then here you know you have some space for storaging you know battery pans your food here you have some drawers as well and you have over there the um, microwave also you have a really big fridge and freezer up here and you know as you can have um, an overview you can see you have a lot of spaces there so that you can use it for putting your pants, your glasses and then here more space okay so I was saying to you this would be the living room window um, and this stair uh, would take us straight to the what is the bedroom number five which at the moment is not available so now going backwards here the living room again so from here we take the stairs okay and we're starting from the bedroom number one okay so as you can see the bedroom number one has a single bed you have a desk with a chair you have there the window that gives you the same view as the living room which we will see in a minute then here you have some shelving you have a wardrobe here where you have space for your clothes this side as well you have some shelving you have a space for your shoes okay and this would be the view from the window so as you can see it's really sunny there is a lot of green areas okay and this is the look of the room from the side okay so this was bedroom number one so now we get into bedroom number two 
The bedroom number two has more or less the same style as the first room. You can see there is a single bed, you have some drawers there, you have space for shelving, you have a small bedside table, and once again, the view of the window, which is the same as the other one. Let me put the light on so you can see how this room looks. Okay, so it's lovely to have all the space on top of your head, you know, while you're lying there, but you have your books and you have here your drawers and this would be the space in your wardrobe. So, you know, you have really plenty of space to be used. And then here also you have this to hang your jackets. Right, so as I was saying, this is bedroom number two. So through this hallway, we get to the bedroom number three, and then there we have the bathroom. Okay, so bedroom number three, this is amazing. You have um, this um, right hand side, it's what it looks, you know, this furniture looks like when, when the bed is up. So when the bed is down, this is what it looks like. So in this room, you have two beds. Um, you have some drawers in the middle, uh, you know, the two beds are single beds. Then you have up here, spaces for storaging. You have a window with an internal patio view. Okay. And then here it's the wardrobe so that you can use it one second to put your clothes in. Probably you can't see it properly, but you have here some drawers. And then here you have as well the desk. And you know, all the rooms have the wire for the TV, which is available so you can connect it. And this is the look of this room as well to show you here. These drawers that you have. So really, two people could be living here, like having plenty of space for both. Okay, so this was bedroom number three. So we're getting now straight into the um, bathroom. Which is the second bathroom. If you remember guys, uh, downstairs I showed you there was one little bathroom which probably I will show you back again now. So here this, you know, this bathroom is much bigger than the, the other one. You have here a bathtub. You can use it as a shower. You have, this is a mirror, you have a massive mirror on the side. And then on this side as well you have a big mirror and then here you have the toilet and this small window okay so this was the bathroom and here as well also you have some space you know, if you want to put your creams you know this is really big and it looks really cozy So we have some stairs again and from here we literally get to the best part of this house. Okay? I'm not sure if I said it earlier but so the house is disposed on, on um, three floors. Okay, so here we have this beautiful terrace. As I was saying, today is really sunny. Maybe it doesn't look that sunny, but the weather is really nice. So this is the view from the terrace. Okay. And this is the, the terrace. It's really cute. You know, you can have 
your meals here and relax or just read in a book, sunbathe. This is really great. Okay, so after showing you this best, you know, the best part of the house, I'm just going to say that this would be the bedroom number four, which as well is not available at the moment. And so we will take back the stairs to, you know, the entrance where I will be showing you um, once again the overview of the house and the little bathroom. Okay, so this would be the living room again. And let me show you the first bathroom, which I didn't. Okay, so this is just really cute and it comes really handy, you know, when probably you're living in a rush and you forgot you need to use the, the um, loo. You just have it really close to the entrance. Okay, so that's all for me. I really hope guys you enjoyed the video. This house is so beautiful, so I really hope you enjoyed it and I see you next time. Bye.